Thanks, Buddy, Jeff. Good to see you. Rachel, we're, we're sending it over to you. Yes, and if you guys weren't hungry enough, well, then just get ready for this because we have got a nice variety of cookies here. As you know, more and more people are being diagnosed with food allergies. Parents are taking precautions against autism and ADHD by omitting wheat from kids' diets. But most gluten-free options are also taste-free. So Connecticut mom Liz Gilbert decided to develop a gluten-free, preservative-free, allergy-friendly cookie that is heavy on the flavor, and that is some good stuff. She's here to uh, show us why a gluten-free diet doesn't have to be the end of good taste. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Now, obviously, we have a lot of uh, a lot of different types of cookies here, and even a pie as well. What made you decide to kind of make this uh, cookie dough and these cookies? Well, I was diagnosed with food allergies okay. uh, about five years ago. And so I had to admit all the co most common ingredients for my diet. And I used to bake all mm -hmm. the time. I couldn't find a cookie that was made without those things that I couldn't eat and that tasted good to me. What are the top allergies, the top food allergies that we see in kind of tasty treats like cookies? The big ones are wheat, uh -huh. wheat um, and gluten, peanuts, nuts, soy, corn, milk. Um, and of course, there's no fish or shellfish in most mm -hmm. cookies, but those are also top allergens. And even tree, tree nuts and, and tree peanuts. Tree nuts and peanuts. Those are big allergies. Now, when it comes to kids and cookies, they love them. And if you tell them they can't eat them, then that's just awful. So we have these cookies here. What kind of, uh, what kind of varieties do we have? And as far as the taste is concerned, are we looking at some flavorful cookies? These are delicious, wonderful cookies. They're soft cookies. So when people bite into them, they go, wow, these are not only delicious, they taste great. And they're soft. This is a cinnamon sugar snickerdoodle, mm -hmm. a dark chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookie, and a sugar cookie, a nice kind of a shortbready cookie. They taste delicious. I've also got cookie dough here. And that's really interesting because a lot of times with kids, if you buy the prepackaged dough, it, it has one of those allergens. And so they kind of feel that they miss out on, on being able to make holiday cookies and such. And now with the cookie dough, they it, can really... It's so easy. Wonderful. You, you can just take it out of the package, roll it up, and use your favorite cookie cutters to, exactly. to just have at it. Now, as far as cost, because a lot of people think because it's gluten-free or because it's uh, a more healthy uh, cookie that it's going to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. Is that generally the case with a lot of the gluten-free it tends to be a little more expensive because the flours that are used are a little mm -hmm. more expensive. The ingredients are a little more expensive. Um, there's no artificial ingredients in any of my products. There's no preservatives. There's no trans fats. So all of that adds up to a little bit of a, a more expensive cookie, but it's also uh, better, healthier for you. Do you see that people who may not even have allergies tend are, are, are even leaning towards these type of, of foods? I find that, yes. A lot of my customers are people who want a healthy cookie okay. that tastes delicious, so they're not losing the taste, but they're having something that tastes good, and yet it doesn't have chemicals or additives or dyes in them. Where can people purchase the cookies and the cookie dough? You can buy these at natural food stores throughout okay. the Northeast, at Whole Foods, um, and uh, at a number of different supermarkets. And you also do two items direct to you as well. I do. I have um, tea bread mix. Okay. These are vegan, so you can add eggs or not. And, and the then um, my pies, especially at the holidays, but I get orders for different kinds of pies as well. Wonderful. Thanks so much. We'll have to give it a try, guys. And Joe, I'll save one for you as well. Thank you, Rich. Appreciate that. Very good. All right. Right now, we got to, well, get the umbrellas out as we head on out today. It's a very, very wet day out there. Matter of fact, some downpours starting to show up now for us across the parts of western Connecticut, specifically up and down Route 7 in Litchfield County. Uh, we have the rain pouring down. Look at uh, some of these uh, yellows that are coming in here. Candlewood Shores.